Well, in this weekend's hometown Maine, we head to the town of Rumford, located in western Maine along the banks of the Androscoggin River. Rumford is home to the Great Falls, the highest falls east of Niagara Falls in New York, by the way. Rumford also the home of Black Mountain Ski Resort and the birthplace of former Secretary of State Edmund Muskie. Logging and paper mills are also legendary in this town, which is why they have recently turned to a legendary figure to help with a fun celebration. Let's head up now to Rumford for this weekend's hometown Maine. The town of Rumford has been the heart of Maine's long and storied logging history ever since it was first established back in the 1770s. Rumford has been the site of a major paper mill since 1893, which to this day remains an economic engine for the town and its surrounding areas. Rumford takes so much pride in its logging history, this statue of Paul Bunyan proudly stands along Route 2. And for the last two years, they've been celebrating the legend that is Paul Bunyan here in downtown Rumford with the Lumberjack Festival. From a parade to wood carvings, and of course, a Paul Bunyan lookalike contest. And you are the original Paul Bunyan. Well, in this area, yeah. <laughs> kind of known as that. And who says you need a real beard to be Paul Bunyan, right? I mean, does somebody recognize you as Paul Bunyan yet? Yep. Yep. <laughs> and if you are going to be Paul Bunyan and march in the parade, then you better have a fitting last name to play the role. Chopping. Your last name is Chopping and you're carrying an axe. And I have an axe collection in the, in the window over there. Those right. with the festival say it's a great way not only to celebrate the town's rich logging history, but also a way to try to build upon the town's future. And our goal is just to try to <laughs> revitalize our downtown and get people downtown to see what's down here and, and use it again. You want to be Involved in the pie, but, uh, oh, it, it worked out just perfect when we decided we wanted to try to do something. It was it was it just made sense to be the thing that we did. Pie. And go. I mean, Rumford may be the only place in the world where you can witness a Paul Bunyan blueberry pie eating contest. Get your face in there. Even though the legend of Paul Bunyan has been a part of American folklore since the early 1900s, real life lumberjacks are still alive and well. In this neck of the woods. I work in the woods, that's what I do for a living. So if we look and see that big pile of, of wood there over by the mill, mm -hmm. that's, uh, that's inspiring because we know that uh, the mill is still going and uh, they're still buying wood. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people get to work. And while these real life modern day lumberjacks continue to help Rumford's logging industry prosper, there is a younger generation just as eager to be a part of it. Yeah, it's nice that. They do this especially. At least everybody gets to see the equipment that everybody has around here. Is this a future lumberjack right here? Yeah, uh -huh. could be. Yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> you can name almost every equipment. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah. Organizers are hoping the lumberjack festival and its impact on downtown Rumford can become just as large as the legend of Paul Bunyan himself. Yeah. We hope it will. And like we said, Rumford takes a lot of pride in its logging industry. I am <laughs> Paul Bunyan. You are Paul Bunyan. <laughs> That is a really cool event up there. Went up there last Saturday and a great time. And only in Rumford can you see a Paul Bunyan blueberry pie eating contest. That is something to see. If there's something about your hometown that makes it unique, a person, place, or thing, we, of course, always want to hear from you. So email us at hometownemmy at wmtw.com and maybe we'll feature your hometown in a future hometown Maine segment right here on News 8.